Hi friends, strangers, internet. My name is Emily Hanhan and I love colorful makeup and colorful language. And I am so excited to be back again with another new makeup nonsense. We are going through new makeup releases, talking shit, marking things off of our bingo card, and taking drinks. Today I have a kind of bourbon cherry cola situation. And if you've never seen one of these videos before, this is something that I do in collaboration with Teresa is Dead. And we do it whenever we can get our shit together, to be quite honest. We pick out things to talk about. We use, or I use a wheel spinner to randomly pick. We basically pick these randomly. And we have a bingo card that we're trying to hit bingo on. Every time we hit a spot on the card, we take a drink. and. Technically, you play the game so you get bingo. It's kind of late around this part. So when, if you just saw the camera move, what I was going to say is that it's kind of late around these parts when I'm filming this and my cats are being basically the biggest pains in my ass right now. They decided it's their playtime while I'm filming, even though they've been perfectly quiet for like three hours now. So if you hear random noises in the background, that's what's going on. If you drink, make yourself a drink. If, you more, if you're more of a good Christian tobacco kind of person, get yourself set up that way. Whatever you want to do, play along with me. If you want to film these videos, we have a whole playlist, tag, resources for the bingo cards, everything in the description box. Um, but whether you're playing on your own or following along here, Hope you enjoy and let's get into this. So the very first thing up is this M Cosmetics Magic Hour Collection. This includes a six pan eyeshadow palette that is $38. Okay, a radiant blush that is $34. A lip cushion lip luminizer that looks like one of those like skinny lip formulas that's that sheer and glossy and has hyaluronic acid and vitamin E in it. Okay. M Cosmetics is one of those brands that almost feels like it's like the older sister to Glossier, where it feels just a little bit too cool for me, but I'm also super fascinated in what they're releasing. So I think this whole like monochromatic color story, I'm, I love that. Like, I think that's so pretty. I love brands that are doing this, like a play on one color, but kind of taking it more dimensional. I feel like like Charlotte Tilbury is kind of doing that at a higher end scale with Pillow Talk. This Magic Hour thing is beautiful. I think it's kind of soft and springish. It doesn't necessarily feel holiday-like, but you know, if you're looking to build your brand and not just build a holiday release, I see going into this direction. That eyeshadow palette is like, okay, that eyeshadow palette draws me in. Like if it was more in the $27 price point, I think it's a good alternate option to like the Huda Beauty New Nudes, like the Fair Fair palette. It is pretty, but it's very, very like neutral and soft. Uh, I don't know about $38 for that though. That feels like a high price point, but I do think they're pretty. I think they are aesthetically very pretty and I see kind of the vision behind this collection. Okay, so the next thing up, we don't always talk about very, very luxe brands. This this is a release from Chantecai. This looks like it's their holiday release. I had to add it in to our mix because it's just that, mm, everything about that is beautiful. So this is their holiday collection. Um, their lipsticks are $51 each. Oh, okay. Uh, they're called Lip Crystals. They're a luminous pearl infused formula amplifies lips with blasts of sparkling color and dimension, giving them a spectacular shimmer finish. They also have uh, two different powders. One is an Eclat Brilliant that is $92. Um, it's an embossed powder that's just oh, gorgeous. And then there's an Eclat Du, which is more of a blurring finishing powder but these two powders the packaging the lipsticks like mm, yeah they're gorgeous there's a lot of luxury brands out there that i look at and i don't understand the luxury behind it i don't get it i don't think the packaging is particularly gorgeous or it's just not my aesthetic but chantecai mm, i get it 
I, I think I get it. I'm giving this the most extra packaging spot on the on the the card because, whew, yeah. So the next thing up are these new Jeffree Star Cosmetics Extreme Frost highlighters. These suckers are fifty dollars each. Um, what? I don't get it. I know I'm not his market, but uh, I don't get it. I just no no do i think they're very pretty yeah uh, but part of me also feels like this is stuff that other indie brands have been doing for a very long time i also felt like when i saw swatches of the highlighter like um finger swatches or not even finger swatches just all in the fingers the texture kind of reminded me of the kat von d metal crush highlighters mixed with the abh dream palette the, the price point alone, I'm, I'm having a hard time even thinking of, of like, no, no. Mm -mm, mm -mm, no, 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 no. Yeah, I think for all those reasons, I'm giving that release major copycat vibes. I think there's a lot of like, oh, this is the most amazing, newest, different thing ever with that brand in particular. And I, I don't see it here. I don't see it with this release. <laughs> oh, well, might as well just get them, get them done back to back. Uh, next one up is the Jaclyn Hill highlighter release. I made a whole video about this. I mean, not just about Jaclyn Hill, but her highlighters inspired a video about, from me and from Lacey. You know, if you wanted to hear in-depth thoughts about her, feel free to go check out that video. I'll have it linked in the cards. Yeah, I just, no. Mm -mm. No, no, no. This is a product that won't die. This is a brand that won't die. This this brand just needs to go away. This, yeah, no. My drink has actual chunks of cherry that have been soaking in bourbon in, in it, so that's what you just saw there. So the next thing up is the Shiseido collaboration with Frozen. Okay, uh, this is only available in Japan, so I'm sorry, this is maybe a little bit of a tease. The packaging on this is really, really pretty. It's annoyingly pretty. It's annoyingly pretty. The lipstick or balm thing, anything with like um, a mosaic-y tile glass kind of effect, whether it's like home decor or makeup or anything, Mmm. Yeah, that's really pretty. I totally think the Frozen thing is way overplayed and doesn't really make a lot of sense in makeup, in my opinion. But Shiseido did it right. But I'm going to give this a collab for with somebody that's not known for their makeup because no one's watching Disney princesses for their makeup. <laughs> oh, okay. So the next thing up is the Tri Beauty Box in collaboration with Anjashka. And Jessica is also Angelica and Nykvist here on YouTube. And I bought this. So Tribe is a subscription box that I think goes out monthly. So it's five or six items in the box. You get to customize a bit. You get to pick either a more fair skin appropriate highlighter or something that's more appropriate for deeper skin. And then you get like an eyeshadow palette, one of those multi-chrome flakies, the highlighter, a brush set, and they're all indie brands. And Tribe Beauty Box has a focus on featuring indie brands, women-owned brands, and I think people of color own brands. So that all together, I was like, I am down for it. The brush collection are those gorgeous Cleona brushes with the crystallized handles. Speaking of like pretty frosty crystallized things. There's a palette from Glam Light, the highlighters from Makeup Geek. It's a lot of brands I've actually not tried before. It's a lot of stuff that I would not necessarily buy myself but i would buy at that price point it was 40 dollars with shipping do i generally think subscription boxes are a ripoff yeah this one though felt different and i probably was totally swung into feeling that way because it is angelica and because i could see all the products before buying it and um i'm pretty sure the little flaky eyeshadow thing that's in the box is a multi-chrome so all the multi -curve. So the next thing up is um, Tasha Rose Beauty. Now, uh, the day I'm recording this, Lacey actually just released an anti-haul and she kind of touched on Kesha and her feelings on Kesha. And I 
felt very similarly. I haven't seen her in concert, but I feel a certain amount of love and connection to her music. If any celebrity were to release a makeup line, hers is probably the first one that I would get kind of hooked into. We don't really have much details yet, but it looks like there's going to be an eyeshadow palette a red lipstick. They have their own Instagram handle, but it's also like being promoted on HipDot. I'm pretty sure HipDot has produced it. And so I think HipDot is kind of presenting it as their collaboration. And then Kesha is kind of presenting it as her new beauty line. So that's a little weird. I'm not going to say I won't ever buy anything from this line, but we haven't seen anything yet. So Hip Dot is one of those brands that I've been seeing like palettes come out from them and I see swatches and they look beautiful, but I don't really hear anybody talking about them. So I'm kind of like a little hesitant to give them my money. If I was going to give them my money, it would probably be for a Kesha palette or something because I'm, yeah, mm, that's, that's who I am. That's, you can judge me all you want, whatever. But the other thing is I think... I'm trying to find the picture that I was using as reference. It almost looks like the eyeshadow palette might be round. And that's kind of weird. I mean, it's not so weird, but it's kind of weird. I'm just not sure about it, but I am intrigued. But I know I shouldn't be. So, mm, we'll see. I'm going to give this the new influencer celeb brand. Because even though it's kind of a collaboration, it's also kind of a brand. And... I don't know. Oh, this is fun. So Aletha Cosmetics, love of my life, has a new collection coming out called the Dream Sign Collection. They are releasing highlighters. Highlighters. Oh my goodness. Okay. So the Dream Sign Collection has highlighters. It has a new nine pan eyeshadow palette and lip glosses. They, they are all live now. The lip glosses are $14. The highlighters are $18.50 and the Dream Sign palette is $37. So Dream Sign Palette has this like black hollow packaging that is so pretty. I don't think I want all nine shadows that are in that collection. What I'm hoping they'll do is that they'll let us take that nine pan palette and build our own special nine pan shadow palette because the packaging is gorgeous. But I don't think I want those specific colors. The highlighters look beautiful. Ionic I think is the one that's caught my eye the most. It's like the second to lightest one. They describe it as an ivory with rose quartz highlights. Oh yes please. The lip glosses I'm not as like drawn to but um, I mean they're pretty. They kind of go with the whole collection. This is a really fun collection in my opinion because it's grungy but it's also like shimmery shiny pretty. I think I talked about this collection in my wish list video but I'm like the more I see indie brands expanding into face products the more excited I get because give me the highlighters give me the blushes all of that give it to me I want it thank you. Next from from a frozen collection that inspires me like Shiseido to a frozen collection that just annoys me from Colourpop. The Anna and Elsa palettes. From first glance, I thought these are such boring fucking palettes. Like, oh, Like, I don't know. They just seem like all neutral with one color. One purple, one blue. Swatches look a little, little bit more interesting. I'll give them that. But the whole thing, I know, I know I've talked about it before, but the stupid pressed glitters in a palette. If you're doing a collection that's going to possibly get in the hands of kids, don't put fucking pressed glitters in the palette. Just don't. Just don't. Let adults choose if they want to scratch their corneas. That's fine. But not kids. Like, and I'll, I'm going to, like, give parents a break in that I don't know if as a parent, if I would have the knowledge to, to think to not give this to my kid because that could be damaging to them. Like if I wasn't super into makeup and I was in an Ulta and they had the Frozen collection and I was just thinking, oh yeah, let me get this. Or I don't know if I would have the knowledge unless I was this deep into the makeup world. So it's just really shady on that front. It's just really, it's really shady on that front. And I just think there are so many other things they could be doing in these palettes. Press glitters must be really fucking cheap to make because that's why I think ColourPop doesn't let them go. I think they must be really fucking cheap and they're just like, yeah, let's do that. Let's keep going with that. <sighs> yeah. I'm uh, not a fan at all. 
Oh, oh, the next thing up is the Amy Loves Makeup and Amy Hearts Beauty collaboration, the Alma palette. This is a 15 pan eyeshadow palette that Amy Hearts Beauty has made in collaboration with Amy Loves Makeup. And this is such a pretty palette. I know, I know I'm probably biased. I met Amy and spent a afternoon with her here in New York and she's just such a sweet, kind human being. As kind as she seems online, she was in person and she deserves this. She runs the Indie Makeup Spotlight account on Instagram, which is usually one of my go-to places to look for indie releases. And honestly, I just think this palette is gorgeous. It's like a purple blue pink color story. I'm super excited to see a colorful palette with a story to it. It went on sale on Black Friday and it actually sold out in like 24 hours. So congrats to them. But I know they are going to be doing a restock for I think January. I think there is a pre-order option on the Amy Hearts Beauty site. I'm personally just going to wait until it gets a little closer to January or in January and hopefully I can pick it up because I've never tried Amy Hearts Beauty and I think it's such a cool opportunity to try a brand. And for me, if I was going to try a new indie brand that has single eyeshadows, I would easily, easily spend the price of that palette in buying singles. So to get that palette and then have singles that I can play with when I want to is great. And Amy did confirm the pa the pans are magnetized so you can pop them out of the palette and put them in your single eyeshadow collection if you're someone like me. Again, sold that right now, but it looks really pretty. I'm super interested. I'll be keeping an eye out for a restock and uh, congrats to Amy and Amy. So the next product up is the Fenty Beauty Trophy Wife Life Kit. Fenty, I'm sorry, I'm just gonna say straight up, this is a bundle deal that nobody wants. So this Trophy Wife release from Fenty, there is a loose powder Trophy Wife that's a separate thing, or you can get the Trophy Wife Life Kit that's $70 that comes with the Trophy Wife highlighter, a lip gloss, a lip topper kind of lipstick, and then a liner. Just, just sell them separate, Fenty, just, just, people just want the gloss. I know everybody just wants the gloss. I don't want a gold gloss. I don't want a gold lipstick. I don't want a gold highlighter. But I, in some ways, I can't be mad at Fenty because they're doing what NARS did with Orgasm, what Charlotte Tilbury has done with Pillow Talk, and what I was just talking about um, with M Cosmetics and the, the monochromatic like idea. It's not for me. It is very, very holiday appropriate though. I'm gonna give them that. We're releasing a bunch of sparkly gold shit in December. Yeah, okay, good good call, good call there. But it's just a bundle deal nobody wants. Okay, so this one is kind of a random one that I'm just gonna quickly mention. I saw it and it made me laugh. This brand called Sick Wicks is a candle company that has this winter Christmas candle collection that just, I had to mention it because there are candles like Santa's Sleigh, <laughs> Ginger Dead Latte, and my very, very favorite, Christmas Cunt. <laughs> It seems like it's like a horror meets Christmas themed candle release. I don't know anything about this brand. I don't know anything about their history or their owner or anything like that. So who knows? It just made me laugh. I just wanted to share that with you. And we're back on ColourPop with this. I, I'm just going to say it with this fucking stupid Bare Necessities palette. I don't get it. I... I don't get ColourPop going in the direction of Morphe. And this is a fucking Morphe palette. If ColourPop had not just released their Going Coconuts palette, that little that little $12 nine pan palette of neutral shadows, I might not be as um, harsh right now, but they did just release that palette. And now they're coming out with, it's a 30 pan palette for $30 and a brush roll. No, no. Mm -mm. They've had so many neutral palettes out that if you've bought any of their other palettes, you could pretty much pull all those pans out of the palette and make a big neutral palette. I don't fucking get it. I, I don't. I don't. Mm -mm. No. I... <laughs> okay, so House Lab is coming out with a new eyeshadow palette. I am so bored by House Labs. I don't think they're doing anything exciting or different out there. I think their stupid collaboration with Amazon reads loud and clear that it's just a cash grab. 
and I don't think this palette is inspired at all. It really looks like a Laura Mercier palette to me, like very neutral, a little bit of a purpley tone, a little pink tone. Uh, is this what like, is this what Gaga thinks is gonna like fuck up the game? Or does Gaga just not care and is making the money? Probably just making the money. It doesn't mean, I, I don't even know if I have a spot on the card for it, but um, I'm drinking because what the fuck? Like, leave us alone, House Labs. I don't know why I included this, but I just thought I, will, I would mention. So at the very end of the Shane and Jeffrey series, which yes, I was a sucker and watched six out of the seven ones. I didn't watch the first one. Anyway, I watched them all. I'm a sucker. I got suckered into it. Jeffrey revealed that he was going to re-release the mini controversy palette with that shiny green shade that, that they got rid of, but everyone else loved. And, and since, since that release, he has also, I think, mentioned he will release it as a single eyeshadow. Uh, just, just, just stop. Just stop. Just stop. Just stop. Admit you fucked up and just like release it in some way that makes more sense. Because to me, uh, I don't know. I don't know. The whole thing just annoyed me. Like the whole, I mean, there's a lot of things to be annoyed by. But I think it's really stupid to re-release a palette with one shade different. Because there's going to be so many people that are going to buy that new palette. They're not just going to buy the single. They're going to say, no, I want the whole new palette because it's a new thing. It's a new part of the collection. <sighs> money grab. Money, 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 money grab. That's all I have to say about that. <laughs> and Veronica wanted to put in her two cents too. So the next thing up is the Nabla Mystic Collection. At first they just showed the Dreamy 2 palette, their Mystic palette, and then they kind of rolled into the whole collection. So the Dreamy 2 palette, so when I first saw the outside of the, the Dreamy 2 palette, I was like, oh fuck yes, like Celestial, Tarot, like all this stuff. Oh yes, I want it. And then they showed the inside and to me it reads as a textured soft glam. Soft glam palette but like with more texture to it and a couple of purpley shades added in. They also have this um, three pan palette that looks like it's a glimmering blush palette. It's called the Glimmer Light palette. The one color in it, I mean they might be able to be used as highlighters but they look more like blushes. And then there are some liquid lipsticks. I'm looking at the site now, everything is live. The palette is like is like 36 euros, the blush palette is about 26 euros, and the um, lipsticks are about 15 euros each. That Glimmer Light palette, like, I don't want it, but I want it. Because I'm down for everything like glowy, shimmery, blush tone things. Not gonna buy it, but it's pretty. There's something with Nabla that I feel like they're a bit of a catfish in that they show us the outside we get all excited about it we dream up what it probably is and then we see the inside and we're like oh okay <laughs> or maybe that's just me I'm a color lover so I'm always looking for color like I think the original dreamy palette but with like more purples would be my dream but that's not what it is. And that's not what this one is. So calling you out, Nabla. You're a catfish. And with that, I have bingo. If you have made it to the end of the video with, with me, let me know. Which of these products do you have any interest in? Or are they all boring and you don't care at all and you're just here to listen to me talk shit? So if that's the case, I hope you enjoyed this. There's a lot of good stuff out there. I will I will say I'm not a total hater of everything, but it's always fun to, to, to call out the shit for when it's shit because Colourpop, I'm looking at you. If there are any releases that I did not talk about in this video and you want to hear my take on them, leave them in the comment. I will give you my little bullshit take on them in a response to you. If you enjoy this video, feel free to give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you have not subscribed and you want to see what's going on with all my colorful shenanigans. If you're here, because of Teresa is dead. I appreciate you so much for coming over and giving my video a watch. And if you don't know who Teresa is and you haven't watched any of her videos, 
go fix your life and do that. I'll have it linked in the, the description box, her video for this new makeup nonsense. Uh, thank you to everybody that is watching, subscribing, commenting, you know, following me on Twitter and Instagram. I'm omnivorous over there. Um, just thank you for everybody that's joining me along on this, this YouTube journey because it's been really fun and uh, I see you all. I notice you all. I appreciate you all. Thank you for spending a bit of your day with me. I hope to see you again real soon. Bye, friends.